Okay, today we're going to make a pumpkin pie. Uh, the first thing is to uh, cook the pumpkin. So I uh, baked this in the oven at about 350 degrees for about an hour in about one inch of water. The flesh side down. When it's done and cooled a little bit, we'll take this, flip this over, and we need to get the, as much moisture out of the pumpkin as possible. So we're simply going to spoon the pumpkin out and put it in a colander and in another bowl to catch the, uh, the water. Uh, today we're going to make pumpkin pie. Yeah. That sounds great. Yes. Um, as you can see, we've already prepared the pie dough, uh, as we uh, showed earlier in an earlier video. Exactly. Uh, we filled this, uh, this mold. Yeah. Um, now, at the holidays, we're a little short on um, oh, yes. pie dishes here. They're hard mm -hmm. to find. So I found a great alternative, uh, this paper um, container made for baking. Yeah. But it looks very designed, it's wonderful, so it's, you can use it for as a gift. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's so simple and you don't have to ask back the plate or something. Exactly. So that's very nice. Yes. And then um, we had already cooked the pumpkin here. Yes, yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. We let it drain for a couple hours and then I measured out about three cups of pumpkin okay. uh, gloop, glup, whatever you want to call okay. it. Okay. It's mush. There's uh, nothing in it. That's what I wanted to ask. <laughs> so just the pumpkin. Just the pumpkin. Okay, without sugar. No sugar. Okay. No, no nothing. Just... And it's a uh, it's a um, Canadian pumpkin, right? If I know it right. This one is Canadian pumpkin. Okay, but you can also use the the round shape. The yeah, the, the traditional pumpkin. Traditional pumpkin. Um, in the U.S., we would call this type of uh, a pumpkin a actually a squash. It's all part of the squash family. Any okay. any. Uh, orange squash works well. Okay. Um, doesn't matter okay. what it is, orange squash. Um, what else do we need then for this pie? Okay, well we need uh, four eggs. Yeah, it's here. Yes, and we need a, a seasoning. Uh, this seasoning we can buy in the U.S. already made. It's, it makes making pies easy. We buy canned pumpkin, canned spice. And just this seasoning is just for the pumpkin pie, right? So yes. It's a special seasoning for pumpkin It's a special pie. mix. Okay. Uh, we have about a teaspoon and a half of uh, cinnamon, mm -hmm. about a teaspoon of ginger, yeah. uh, about a teaspoon of nutmeg, yes, and about half a teaspoon of uh, clove. Well, it's There's nothing exact in cooking. Yeah, about another half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. It sounds very intensive, <laughs> very strong, but it's, yeah. it's fantastic. You know, if you like a more clove flavor, more ginger flavor, you, you can add more. Okay. It's, it's fine. That's great. Uh, but here we have to make our own mix. We have to do everything from scratch when it comes to pies. Mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S. we can buy the pie doughs frozen. Oh, well, that's so simple. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's, simple. Yeah. Here, here we just we, we have, have to, to work. It. Exactly. Yeah. Hard work. But it's worth it. It's yeah, worth exactly. It. Uh, helps keep other... the belly down. You've got to work at it. <laughs> Before that, that's the problem. Yes. Yeah. yeah so uh, we, we pre-burn some calories. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, the other ingredient in the pumpkin pie is uh, sugar. Oh, it's brown sugar, if I Yeah, I'm right. using brown sugar. Okay. It's a one cup of uh, brown sugar, okay. or about uh, 240 milliliters. Yeah, exactly. Um, white sugar, uh, it doesn't matter, or a substitute. Exactly. As long like as it can be, it or take something. heat. Yes. Okay. Uh, can I use uh, honey or uh, other melty um, sugar? Uh, there's no reason why you couldn't substitute with honey. Okay. Um, Cost might be an issue, but... Exactly. Yeah, that's the only thing. Um, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't. Okay. Um, and the, the last ingredient, um, the pumpkin, sugar, eggs, spice, and condensed milk. Okay. Now here, um, we have something very similar to condensed milk. It's not exactly the same, but it's very close. Okay. Uh, if I know it right, there are two different types of condensed milk. One is for uh, cooking, mm -hmm. and one is for the deserts, particularly for the especially well, for like the deserts. Like whipping cream. Exactly. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is for. for this one's for cooking. For cooking, mm -hmm. but it's also yeah. can be used for this. Part. Yeah, it's it's a substitute that we use. Um, okay. And, and different countries are going to have different. Exactly. Products. Exactly. Um, this has taken me many years of being creative and well, yeah. um, starting with a basic uh, pie dough, then I can create many variety of things. Okay. So now, um, 
we'll start putting it together. Uh, the first thing is to put the uh, pumpkin glop in this. the bowl, uh -huh. all of it. Okay. Yes, all of it. Okay. Now we need to beat the four eggs. To a condensed milk, and this will be about you know, about 18 ounces in the U.S. Okay. So 400 milliliters here. So we should measure it. I think we can use. No, nah, no, nah, just pour it in there. It's 200, so. Yeah, that's 400. Yeah. It's okay. Already, yeah. <laughs> yeah. May work easier at this point. Yes, it's pretty thick. Exactly. And this one is just too flexible. Yeah. A fork or a whisk and uh, a spoon. Yeah. Whatever. We'll just set that here in the pipe because that's where it's going anyway. We'll just mix that up so it's nice and even. Well the color, how it changes is just so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you can smell that. Uh, the oh, yeah. spice is coming yeah. up off of there. It's it's very intensive, so yeah, mm -hmm. we can smell it. It's very special. Okay. Now, uh, even a better way to mix this is to use one of these. Yeah, it would be, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, be careful when you lift it up that it, stuff doesn't spray everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, these things are great for mixing stuff like this. Okay. So we'll save you a little bit on your arm this time and oh. let you go ahead and uh, Thank you. use this one. So it's my time to try it. Uh -huh. Hold it down. Okay. okay. So it's done. So we've taken advantage of a little modern technology. Exactly. And now we have this wonderful looking yellow mix. Waste not one, no. no. That's important. <laughs> okay. And this took um, about two pounds of uh, squash. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, roughly about two, two and a half pounds of squash. And, uh, okay, stop. Okay. Okay. Maybe just a little bit more. A little bit more. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. We don't want it too thick because we're going to time this. Yeah. And so we're at about uh, an inch and a half thick, about uh, what three centimeters. Mm -hmm. Are we going to cover it or it just? No, it's no. just open. It's just open. Okay. Yes. And now the next thing all we have to do is cook it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Now. How long should we cook it then? Okay. Let me uh, 
cook this up. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> okay, now it's time to cook. We will cook this uh, here again. We will cook, uh, we'll start it at um, 210 degrees Celsius, about 425 degrees mm -hmm. for the first 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, then we'll go down to 350 degrees, is about 175 degrees Celsius, for another 45 to 60 minutes. Now this one's uh, a little on the thick side, exactly. Uh, so we're going to go closer to 60 minutes on this. Okay. Uh, so uh, we'll get this in the oven, and then we'll come back in about an hour and, and see what we got. Great.